Leave your like if you like this little cute dog. Leave your like and let's start with this video. We started and we appeared in a world together with Ply from day 1 to day 10. Our mission is to explore this world to make our house. And as you can see, we appeared with a full armor of netherite because there were many skiv toilets that did not stop attacking us. And if we did not have this, they would kill us in. One blows, so they started to attack us all the skiv toilets along with Bluey. But we had to get a lot of wood to be able to start our adventure and create our own house. So we started started to grab all the wood we could to be able to start building and we had to get all the wood we could to be able to start building our own house. A lot of wood to start the adventure and create our own house so we started to grab all the wood we could to start the construction and they kept attacking us those skiv toilets that were around the world of Minecraft there were too many and we didn't know what to do but attack them and try to escape from them so we started to get all the resources we could a lot of wood to start the craftios to be able to make our own house so we started to get all the resources we could a lot of wood to start the craftios to be able to make our own house so we could make a pickaxe an axe and collect many more materials faster as in any world of minecraft the only advantage we had was this armor and sword because if we were not going to endure a single day with so many skiv toilet that came to attack us constantly so we grabbed here all the stone we could to make the tools to be able to get resources a little faster so we grabbed the stone here. Remember that with 8 or 9 stones we can have all the necessary tools to be able to build the axe, the pickaxe and everything else. So we grabbed one more, these stones and a little bit more here and then what we did was to get out of this mini cave where we grabbed all this stone to be able to continue with the objects we needed to build. So we could continue with the objects that would help us to get our new house together with Bly so we quickly left this hole and as you can see there were too many skiv toilets in this world of Minecraft. We made the pickaxe here we also made the stone axe as you can see and now we were ready to start accumulating all the wood possible to build our first house with Bly here in the world of Minecraft house with Bly here in the world of Minecraft so we grabbed here much 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 wood to build our first house and be able to endure the first nights well before the sk if toilets that were going to appear constantly in this world as they were too many as you can see appeared more and more it began to rain and now we had more reason to have our house made as soon as possible remember that we had to defend ourselves from the skiv vitters that were going to appear constantly in the world of Minecraft and they were quite strong so we could not trust and stay out in the open we had to make a pretty ice house so we started to build the house as quickly and efficiently as we could we started with two types of wood the skivs did not stop attacking us so it was a real adventure and we had to build our house we began to place here everything that would become the wood for the construction of the house they did not stop attacking us here the skiv and we continued here with the construction the windows and the large windows placing here the wood in two colors to make the house look beautiful and safe because we had to endure all the skiv tools that were attacking us. All the skiv tools that wanted to attack us constantly so here we put the roof and as you can see we finished the house after finishing the house we had to get an oven, a crafting table and also many more minerals to advance in the world of Minecraft so we had to go to the mine to find resources and materials to improve our house as the coal to place the windows so we could place the windows so we had to go to the mine to find resources and materials to improve our house is cold to place the windows so we already had the door and we had everything but now we were missing so many more things with which we grabbed there a few wooden planks to go decorating a little bit the house and let's see here I attacked a skiv police literally crazy did not stop appearing all a squivvy's police skiv toes mutants and everything did not stop attacking us in this world of Minecraft so here we were placing all e basically white wooden planks to decorate a bit the windows of the house and we only had the glass but clearly we had to go to the mine to get what would become the coal to burn all the sand to create the glass we needed to make the windows of our house in Minecraft hit. We were attacked by a skiv toilet so we decided to 
kill it we loved all the skib we could as you can see and we went straight to the mine to get some resources then over here you see that blue jumped directly into the mine and we could not see anything because it was very 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 dark and we had no torch and that was a problem but well after a long time of fighting with monsters and monsters we could not see anything because it was very 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 dark and we had no torch and that was a problem but well after a long time of fighting with monsters and monsters we had to go to the mine to get some resources time of fighting with monsters and with skid toil we could get the right resources and get torches so we kept going down here seeing how dark it was but eventually we managed it at the coal needed to make the torches and be able to see so we had the torches we loved exploring and getting a lot of resources to make us a tremendous house in minecraft minecraft the house that we were going to build was going to be legendary and blue eye and i knew it our mission was to make a big mansion in minecraft and we accomplished the mission because after this we had gotten a big mansion in minecraft so i went to the little bly to say hello and good morning when i opened her room there she was jumping with happiness when she quickly came out with me and let's go for a quick walk with me and let's go for a quick walk with me and let's quickly go for a walk around the house that we had worked so hard to build so basically little Lewis forgot to take out her armor but that was a big mistake because we didn't know what was about to happen at this moment suddenly two skip toilets arrived and started attacking blue eye hard that's when I started to defend her and told her to run for her armor but she couldn't get through because every armor but I couldn't get through because more and more skivies were appearing I wanted to defend her but I couldn't hit her with my netter right sword either because I could kill her in one hit so I had to be very careful where I hit with my sword so I started trying to defend little blue eye when suddenly the skiv to toilet killed her and I didn't know what to do at that precise moment I attacked this so let's investigate how to revive blue eye in minecraft so I went at dusk to think to look for clues but I found absolutely nothing on how to revive blue eye in minecraft okay the next day in my house appeared many skiv toilet and had it completely invaded it was then that I decided decided yes or yes to find out how to revive blue eye in minecraft i decided to find out how to revive blue eye and bring her back because i wasn't going to accept that a skip the toilet was going to kill my little bly so i went around looking for how to revive blue eye in the minecraft world but i couldn't find anything the only thing i could find around were thousands and thousands of skip toilets all over the place i couldn't believe the amount of skip and toilets that could be in my minecraft world they were literally these adus and I was fighting with them all the time. More and more were appearing and I couldn't stop fighting. All the skiv tones that were coming from me. Big skiv tones, little skiv tones, all kinds of skiv tones were coming to attack me and I could only defend myself because they wouldn't stop attacking me. It was then that in the distance I saw a village and I ran towards the village to see if I could find something inside the village that I was looking at. Some answer I had to find inside that place. Answer I had to find inside that place so more and more dodges were appearing and I kept running towards the village I got to the village I kept fighting with many dodges now. Even police dodges appearing to attack me I didn't understand anything and there was literally no one living in the village anymore because obviously the dodges had run out of the village and I could only defend myself because they kept attacking me. Obviously the dodgers had wiped out every single villager in the place so yes indeed it was a ghost village as you can see later I found some strange tiles on the ground that led to a giant medieval castle which made me very curious so I started to follow these kind of strange tiles on the ground that led to a giant medieval castle which made me very curious so I started to follow these kind of strange tiles on the ground that led to a giant medieval castle which made me very curious to follow these kind of tiles that were on the ground I followed them until I reached the castle the truth I was following them were quite rare I'd never seen a block like this in the world of Minecraft but well here I dived to swim a little to see how the sea was underwater or was something strange and on the shore I acute there were some skid toilets waiting for me to attack me as I say there were thousands of skids in this world of Minecraft so I fought with all of them as much as I could and after that I won straight to the castle so here I continued my way we followed the tiles and entered the castle in question that I had found so we continued
continued through here we attacked all the skiv toilets that were attacking me and as you can see inside the castle there were quite a few soul torches and redstone torches so I decided to look for them all I literally followed the steps of all the soul torches and the redstone torches until I got to the last torch and I found the last redstone torch. So you went up the tower without stopping going up and up and up until suddenly after so much climbing I found this chest. It was surrounded by some garden things that I didn't really understand and once I opened the chest I found something weird a book that said revive sign by Titan Sperman which said that if I want to revive the soul and redstone torches I had to go back to the tower which said that if I want to revive someone I have to do the following I have to go to the nether and get a blaze wand then make a portal to the nether with blue pencil blocks and covering it so it can go to your dead friend's dimension then pick up his bone then go back to the dimension make an altar throw the blaze wand with a bone and with that we are going to go to the nether with a bone with a bone and with that we will be able to revive blue eyes so let's get to work when I woke up I went to my chest and grabbed all the equipment I had to go to blue eyes rest we had to go to the mine get enough obsidian to make the portals and go to the nether to rescue blue eyes you can see he was still fighting from here I went to blue eyes room and there was a toilet skiv right there that pissed me off but well my mission was Clara I had to save blue eye no matter what so we went to the mine we started to fight a lot of monsters inside the mine there were skeletons there were skiv toilets there was everything but I wasn't going to give up I had to get yes I had to go to the nether to rescue blue eye I was about to die because I was attacked by Skiv Enderman's creepers and I was about to die then I found the obsidian and I started to mine all the obsidian I could remember and I had to make two portals one to get to the enter and another one to be able to so I started to mine all the obsidian I could get to do all the things I could do to get my dear friend Bly back and here I found a pretty cool diamond I was very happy to find it because I had not found a single diamond in all the time I had been mining for so long I was about to die then I found the obsidian and I started to mine all the obsidian I could get to do all the things I could do to get my dear friend Bly back diamond in all the time mining and it helped me a lot to find one here I got some more obsidian but I didn't mine it because I already had 24 and here we went exploring a little more the mine in search of lazuli pencil to basically make the lazuli pencil covered portal to blue eyes dimension and once I got everything I started to fight for the portal to the blue eyes dimension got everything I started fighting with thousands and thousands of skiffs and toilets again I kept fighting with so many skiffs I had everything ready to make the portal but the skivs wouldn't let me do it literally every time I tried to do it they would get in front of me they would attack me and basically I got confused placing a block of obsidian and I couldn't break it and I couldn't break it obsidian and I couldn't break it because they always appeared in front of me and the truth was impossible to build a portal with so many skid bothering me but I did what I could I fought with all I could literally there were too many skip and I was placing a little obsidian blocks to be able to make the portal I was wrong quite a few times but then I went to collect the blocks because remember that the more obsidian we have the better because basically we had to make two portals to get to the blue dimension and our mission was to get the blaze staff so we had to get it yes or yes this time here as you can see I grabbed all the obsidian blocks back but the obsidian blocks I had to get back but the obsidian blocks I had to get back to the blue dimension so we had to get the blaze staff obsidian blocks back but the dodgies kept bothering me every time I was about to break the obsidian block they ran to attack me back and literally never left me alone here we managed to get into the enter and here started the intense search for blaze rod here a gas attacked me and it was crazy we arrived at a bastion and basically you look but here game for there is no blaze of course but in the chests usually appears from time to time a blaze wand and that's what happened to me in this bastion as you can see we entered here and I found a chest which had a blaze wand which I took advantage of as ever as we only needed one but they did, did not stop attacking me here the piglins as you can see they all came after me they all wanted to hit me and I did not understand anything in the overworld fighting against the skibidi and here fighting against pigs crazy this in the end I managed to defeat all the pigs I stole a block of gold because nothing here we opened another chest which had more interesting things but we could not take them and I had to return it faster. I make the portal of pencil lazuli so here I made a mistake I placed two obsidians but I did not care anything I continued building to escape as fast as I could from that bastion and I could not take it back. 
could from that stronghold and become the Lazuli Pencil Portal in Minecraft so we ran this way and we're going to quickly make the portal and here I basically started to place everything to make the Lazuli Pencil Portal. Here the flint for well here we basically saw the book which said that we had to make the Lazuli Piss Portal so we grabbed the crafty -o. we grabbed over here the stacks that I had of Laz Lazuli Pencil as you can see and we made all the blocks that we could which were 14 were just the ones needed here this baby piglin didn't stop bothering me and basically I started to push him so I wouldn't hit him and so all the zombie pigs wouldn't literally hit me like the skibidi so over here as you can see we placed the completed lazuli pencil port well and there we had it ready to go to blue eyes dimension and we added all the blaze staff and we had everything we needed to go to blue eyes dimension so let's get to work and once we arrived at blue's dimension we appeared in bluey's house in a totally flat biome where the only thing that was there was bly's house we entered as you can see and everything seemed to be empty until we entered this door and when we entered this door and when we got inside we saw that the door was empty and when we got to blue eyes dimension we were in blue eyes house we entered this door and when we entered i saw a chest in the basement i approached it i opened it and there was a bone indeed it was blue eyes bone now i had to see how to escape from the house or how to get out because i was trapped in the basement so basically i got out by breaking a block of dirt we opened the door we closed the door we opened the door we closed closed the door and went straight to the portal with blue eyes bone once we got from the portal i showed up right where i had made the first portal but i showed up with a lot of building materials the blaze rod and the bone i went from having nothing to having everything and our mission was basically to build blue eyes face in minecraft so i started to build all this with blue wool and we started to build here the frame of blue eyes face in minecraft i know it looks like everything but blue eye but when it's finished you see how cool it is here i was thinking about how to make the ears i was thinking about how to make the ears to place so that little blue eye would look great here in minecraft so here we basically placed a few blocks and continued with the construction after a while we had already built enough of blue's faces you can see this was her little nose and little by little we were building a little more to make the altar to be able to revive her to make the altar to be able to revive blue eye in the world of minecraft here we placed the eye of blue of course we placed here a little wool to make the eye of course we did to be soup cool super cool the statue of blue eye here so we were literally building the face of blue eye in minecraft the best we could it looks a little sonic but well that doesn't matter than this gift toilet started attacking again but while i was attacking them all a little by little and literally finished with all the skiff and i finished with the construction of the face of blue and as you can see it was great there we have it and it did not stop attacking me the skiff did not want to and for some reason they were literally telling me not to do it they kept attacking me and stopping me from doing it but i wasn't going to give up i started attacking all the skiff i could i finished building blue's altar we placed this over there and i placed blaze bone and blaze wand and i went home to wait 24 hours to see if blue had reappeared in minecraft and the next day we woke up and i quickly went to see what had happened in the altar had it worked in the summoning of blue and we were going to have blue back that was my doubt so i started to run as fast as i could to see if blue had reappeared in minecraft as fast as I could I started to run towards the altar we made to revive my friend Blue Eye so we went down quietly and there were already enough skib that on it to keep attacking me as usual so I started to fight with many skib toilets and continued my way towards Blue Eye's altar to see if it had worked the summoning so we were walking around here we continued walking all around the area until we started to get closer and closer and more and more skiv appeared i had to fight a lot of them because they didn't stop appear and something weird was happening they were more than normal literally there were so many so many so many so many skivs even now there were a lot of little ones too and i didn't know what was going on suddenly it started to rain and i noticed something weird in the distance on the altar guys literally i was seeing bly on top of a toilet was this skid blue eye in minecraft i couldn't believe what i was seeing literally the summoning ritual had worked only the blue eye was now he started to run he started to attack me for no reason and suddenly what happened i was in total shock he started to place lots and lots of skivs with lots and lots of heads and different types of skivs that started to chase me and hit me i didn't know what to do but run and escape at that moment skid bly had gotten a giant army of skiv toilets that came now to attack me not 
not only the normal ones, but now Ains together with Skid Bly and I did not know what to do I jumped into the water and managed to escape swimming and leaving the place where Skid BL was with the Skid toilets I literally arrived at my super house, defeated and found a book that said the following we have seen that the Squiddy are after you along with blue I follow the blue lights to get your allies and so guys that's how I managed to get my allies now the mission was to get the blue lights so I could find my allies and have someone to fight with and a skiv appeared in my room and I fade let's go and I ate an apple to regenerate a little bit of life that I had lost. Logically because I was ultra mega damaged from the battle I had against skibidi bingo well bly in this case incredible I always confuse bingo with bly because they are sisters and they are very similar but in this ace we are fighting against skib blue why the next day we woke up and well I literally woke up in the middle of the night because I could not stand the excitement I had to go find the blue lights to find my ally. I could not believe I was going to arm myself with perhaps Titan Speaker Man Titan TV Man Titan TV Man Speaker Woman Speaker Man Speaker Man All the Speaker Man Cameraman TV Man I was very excited at. Illy wanted to find what would basically be the path of blue lights to be able to find my allies here I fought against some skiv that did not stop attacking me and as you can see here I found the blue lights for the first time. Here I found for the first time the blue lights so here I started to follow the lights and the rain was pretty heavy but that didn't stop me. It jumped into the water started to swim and started to follow this great path that I found of blue lights that led to the forest on the way up. Faced quite a few skiv toilets as you can see but I continued this long path of blue lights that would take me to my allies really the excitement I felt was incredible I wanted to find especially Titan Sperman because I am his fan literally he is my favorite Titan and I wanted to find him. Of skiv toilets here in the comments and well over here I continued on the path of the blue lights which was really quite big and the skiv toilets kept attacking me along the way but I was never going to stop that I really wanted to find my allies especially because now blue I had become skibidi bly and I had too many skiv allies which were coming for me and I couldn't allow that so we walked through the forest the path was quite long it was just blue lights all the time and I understood absolutely nothing here I had to swim a big part of the river because I had to cross it and there were drowned people which was quite scary so I continued quietly my way through here until I got to the next end of the river and finally I found what would become the base of the Sperminus. You can see there I was a little stuck in the game but we continued and as you can see we literally got to where they are this would be speaker woman I literally freaked out when I saw speaker woman but it wasn't just one it was a lot of the speaker woman cameramen and all of them it was crazy there we saw Titan. TV man Titan cameraman and Titan Sperman which was absolutely amazing to me so as you can see here what I did was I started to think I was in shock shock and I went in as fast as I could as you can see there were a lot of TV women's there piling up and we kept walking and as you can see I got stuck in a tree literally I found my way out by breaking a few leaves I got on the tree and then I was here with all my allies now they were fighting some toilets as you can see I had to get out of the tree and then I was here with all my allies allies now they were fighting against some toilets as you can see they kept throwing missiles and hits and that literally sent you flying with every hit they gave you titan t-ban for example and it was quite complicated for me to talk to them because they kept fighting against some small skiv toilets that appeared around map here i started to as you can see there we could see titan sperming for the first time i was literally in shock i couldn't believe that we had in front of us nothing more and nothing less than titan sperming together with the normal sperm the normal cameraman and the normal TV woman and T-man and the normal TV woman and T-man there was also camera woman here I managed to climb the balloon as you can see that was above the arena and when he managed to climb the balloon we could see from above the whole place where the cameraman camera woman and titan were and it was crazy there was titan tv man as you can see and i was ready with all this army to fight i was prepared with all this army to fight against skibidi blue eye and his allies my plan was to bring them here to the balloon and basically after that put them to fight thrilly set a trap take skid blue eye to the balloon throw it from above and jono and his allies would fall here and my allies would be able to fight against the skibidi but how was i going to do it i was thinking about how to do it while the titans 
kept flying around me. It was crazy. This was incredible. There were all kinds of mans as you can see and womans. It was crazy. They kept popping up. They were dancing around fighting literally doing legendary attacks that made us fly off flying even with Narita's armor. And here what I did was to look for a tea woman to help me as you can see in my house always appear many skip toilets and I needed an ally to be with me in case skip lie appeared. So here I told the tea woman if they wanted to accompany me to well one of them to protect my house and one agreed and we went directly to my house to protect it once we got there this tea woman i gave her the task that she had to protect me while i slept in case skid bly appeared and that she would be protecting the house in case some skid toilets appeared so that i would be safe the next day the next day we woke up in my house with tea woman as you can see everything was quite normal and quiet when suddenly blue eye appeared at the door i didn't know if i was dreaming or what was going on but I decided to follow BL to see where she was taking me so we walked this way I wanted her to follow me so I started to follow her I started to follow her I didn't really know what was going on but well I decided to follow her to see where she was taking me and she took me under the mountain that was by my house so we were walking down the mountain quietly and many skip and police came to attack me which I didn't understand at all blue I started to help me to attack the skibidi so I started to follow her. So officially I wasn't Skibidi Blue Eye anymore so it was crazy so I started to follow Blue Eye here to where he was taking me he started to zigzag me around and 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 around the Skib cops kept attacking me but well he took me right to the nether portal which I didn't understand I he was taking me to the nether portal but I guess he took me to the nether portal which I didn't understand but I guess she wanted us to go to the nerve for something so I decided to follow her once I entered the portal I appeared in a world that said dinosaurs it didn't really take me to the end or it took me somewhere else which I didn't understand but well I grabbed everything that was in the chest and decided to follow Bly out of the house where we appeared and I decided to follow her to the nerve of the house where we appeared and we appeared directly in a world full of dinosaurs in Minecraft the truth I was quite surprised I had never seen dinosaurs before me in Minecraft but well it was crazy this is blue eye now I had literally magical powers to be able to take me to worlds of dinosaurs this was a dream or was it reality but well I continued with the game but well we continued to follow blue eye everywhere he literally took me to do a parker in an active volcano he started fighting with some dinosaurs and we literally started jumping all over the volcano a dinosaur got burned their poor little f for the dinosaur in the comments and well we continued here following blue eye all over the place literally started to redden the sky and it was pretty scary because we thought that the asteroid that extinguished the dinosaurs was going to fall but it wasn't the case so I started to follow blue eye all over the place literally here he started to break a dinosaur egg I didn't understand why but well and we went straight to the volcano oh that had a red ring at the tip of it so we went to see what was happening maybe it was a special event like the ones in Fortnite well we went to see what was happening here Bly started to make a block with well a bridge with obsidian and I grabbed some iron blocks to make another little bridge over here we literally went up the whole mountain together with blue and all the active volcano to see where it was taking us and we got to a point where there was only volcano 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 and ashes and more volcano so i think that bly at this point in his desperation began to create a new portal of the nurse so here we see blue looking for the entrance to the top of the volcano and as he did not find it he began to create a new portal and i said well now we see blue looking for the entrance to the top of the volcano and as he did not find it he began to create a new portal and i said well now we can see the entrance to the top of the volcano and i said i said well now we are going to go to the ender i guess but what happened left me a lot more surprised than just going to the net ender here she told me to go with her to the nether so i went to the portal and she fell down so i waited for her to go up because she literally fell down and couldn't enter the portal we went to the nether portal and this is what happened we appeared in the nether it wasn't a dip for nether it literally looked like the nether in the new blue biome but it was another planet literally there were other mutant alien pigs that lewis started hitting them i thought it was the nether but it wasn't the nether 
Literally, we were on a strange planet where there were purple mutant villagers, and it was complete insanity. Literally here, Blue Eye decided to hit one of those alien elephants, and it literally hit us back and left us almost half a life. So well here, we decided to explore a little bit. The strange planet we were on was like the nether, but it was with nether with amethysts, and the sky was a little bit strange. We looked at a kind of weird sun in the sky there. We went to explore. We met an alien ghost who asked us for a ticket to keep going which we didn't have clearly because we had just arrived at the place here blue eye burned an alien cow i don't know why he was doing it he was acting a little strange now that i think about it but while i didn't take much notice of blue's attitude at the moment and we continued exploring the whole alien planet seeing if we found anything strange or anything new literally here I lost Blue Eye because I was looking at the black hole that was the sun in this hidden planet in which we were in this strange dimension which Blue Eye brought me and well we continued this way literally Blue Eye told me to go up with her and when I went up there we found Bly breaking the maelstrom and when I went up here we found Blue Eye breaking the maelstrom and we were in this strange dimension which Blue Eye brought me and well we continued this way we found Bly breaking the maddest I don't know why he started to do it but he started to build the portal to the nether inside the maddest eye didn't know what was going on but well there we had the giant black hole that was the sun on this planet crazy and well he literally made another portal to the nether and this is when things started to get a little weird after blue eye opened this portal to the nether and this is when things started to get a little weird after blue eye opened this portal to the nether and it got weird because we appeared in a pretty weird world it was a world where there was a ball and there were some pretty weird stuffed animals it looked like a normal house house but I didn't know that this was going to be anything but normal here Lewis hit me which I didn't understand and it appeared on the screen scary clowns and it appeared that we had it so that's what blue eye and I did at the point we decided to go look all over the house to see where our dear friend Jimmy was we didn't even know him at this point so we continued exploring all over the house and I got the idea to go outside the house to see if Jimmy could be outside the house I went outside and it started raining and it was really raining and it started raining so we turned them into cameraman literally there was camera blue and as you can see it was crazy but well the point was the following we had to find Jimmy here blue eye started to behave a little bit strange he didn't give it much importance but he started to drive the tricycle upside down with his head down and he started to hit me with his head upside down but well I decided not to make a big deal out of it and continued on my way to find Jimmy so we went straight to Jimmy's room as you can see See, and in here what we found was a lot of strange frog nets and we found the stuffed animals that Jimmy was playing with so we started to play with Jimmy stuffed animals as Jimmy was playing with them with Jimmy stuffed animals as you can see but Blyce kept hitting me something weird was going on and I didn't know exactly what was going on but well we went outside and Bly stayed inside the house he was looking down he was acting really weird we started to collect some candies that were on the floor that were leading us directly to a trap but we didn't know it so we started to follow blue eye literally kept hitting me something weird was going on with her but i thought she was being annoying and literally here i fell into a trap that led me in the poisonous water i didn't know what was going on i ate a few candies that brought me back to life and this is where blue eye was literally no longer there he didn't fall with me he was alone in the sewers it was then that i grabbed some bread that was in a chest i took the candy and continued to advance in the poisonous water and literally in a corner there was nothing more and nothing less than blue eye but she was changed her eyes were red and she had blood on her back something strange was happening it was blue eye EXE I couldn't believe it my friend Blue Eye went from being a skid Bly now to a Blue Eye pun EXE but well even though she looked weird she was still acting normal apparently something weird was affecting her and it was turning her into Blue Dot EXE we had to escape from that place and all of a sudden floating clown head started to appear which was quite strange if we looked at the walls there were paintings that said in English I see you translated to English I am seeing you it was then that we started looking for a way to get out of this this dungeon in which we were trapped in blue eye. Axie shot me with a bow which I didn't understand and blue found a hidden chest in one of the lamps that were over there so we decided to keep moving forward blue eye started to break the bars of the jail we were in he started to break absolutely everything but I decided to go through this place that was over there once we entered
this place we found a homeless man who said he had been a long time alone we tried to do something but we couldn't do anything but pull this lever so Lewis started to try to see the bars as you can see I decided to and I realized that literally all the bars that were holding us in this drainage had opened up it would get a little bit strange it reminded me a lot of Pennywise but I didn't want to say anything maybe we were entering Pennywise's at Lara I don't know we kept going and Blue was acting weirder and weirder was getting weirder and weirder he had an obsidian in his hand and I thought he wanted to make a portal to the nether but then I realized that Blue and started hitting me I started running because I didn't know what to do and I found a portal to the nether which I went into and literally managed to escape from this Blue to X who wanted to kill me I appeared in the Minecraft world with all my stuff and suddenly the unthinkable started happening Blue I appeared at this time she was going completely crazy she started spinning all over the place moving her head like whatever was happening and suddenly she started following me and hitting me I didn't understand what was happening the skids were all coming after me I didn't know what was happening it's only blue eye punk started summoning lightning and started following me to hit me this was crazy I couldn't believe it literally it was blue exe now hitting me constantly summoning lightning and followed by many skiv toilets many witches started appearing every time skiv well the blx started to put lightning os and the skiv were literally following me so they could farm me it was then that i got in the water and managed to escape like that from blue eye exe and all the skiv toilets that were following me at this moment so i could farm on day 7080 i woke up already inside my house and t woman did me the favor of taking me out through the wall with her magic powers so i didn't have to face any skid that was outside the house it was then that here i started my journey i had to get my allies because blue white exe now had gotten the skiv allies again and now i had more power than ever since i was blue white exe yes i had summoned skiv dehydras before now i didn't know what i could summon so i was pretty scared so i decided to go for help i had to go find my dear friends titan sperm and titan cameraman and titan tv man so i started to walk all the way to the blue land until I got to the Sam where all the cameraman speaker man speaker woman Tim mom and all the others were so this way I started to follow the blue lanterns literally as fast as I could until I got to this part of the river as you know I swam all the way to the river I swam all the way down to the river and then I went back to the river and I got to the river and I went back to my friends Titan Sperman and Titan TV man so I went back to my friends Titan Sperman and Titan cameraman speaker man speaker woman Tim mom and all the the others of the river as you know I swam the whole river in search of crossing it as fast as I could and there I finally found Titan TV man Titan Araman and Titan sperm and I started to go up and once I got there something weird was happening up there in the balloon I could notice a strange presence it could be that up there was blue eye punk suddenly a lot of lightning fell on the balloon where I used to be before where the trap for bluey was going to be but literally lightning kept falling I didn't understand what was happening I had the suspicion that that there was blue eye exe in the balloon and literally what happened next is that he started to summon a lot of titan skiv toilet is like this guys he started to summon a lot of g-man it was then i didn't know what to do because the epic battle started at this moment it was four skiv titans against my titans i couldn't believe it it was the epic battle happening in front of my eyes it was literally too many laser beams hits effects and of all what we were witnessing was the battle of titans led by blue eye exe and blue eye exe appeared Exe appeared in front of me surrounded by fire and started to summon many skiv hydras I tried to attack them all but it was impossible literally it was so big the fight of the titans that they were freezing the whole minecraft game so well Amos trying to fight against the skiv toilets but it was impossible but luckily titan cameraman was too strong and was eliminating all the skiv titan as you can see they were fighting all against all against the gimmon and there died the prim first gan there died the next gimmon and there were only three gimmon F3 Gimmon you can see by the life bar as they were going down and Titan Cameraman was holding as a there we can see how the fight was going in full HD 4K literally every time we had a hit from any of them they flew out blocks we all flew out there were explosions colored fire effects was a complete madness what we were watching there died another Gimmon died another Gimmon 
and there was only the can that was in the balloon we were about to win however the titan skiv toilet that was given was up in the balloon and we couldn't do anything about it. It was then that Blue Eye started to break the balloon so he could get out of there because he was taking refuge in the balloon and he had to fight to beat my titans which I think was going to be almost impossible because even though Titan Sperman died there was still Titan TV man and Titan cameraman so even though they were damaged Blue Eye. Last attempt was to Jimin who was in the balloon so he could fight against all my titans literally as you can see there he started to break the balloon to throw lightning bolts at the balloon to be able to fight against all my titans literally as you can see there he started to break the balloon to throw lightning bolts at all my titans. I couldn't believe it literally we were about to win and we couldn't win because he was trapped in an air balloon this is crazy the balloon literally wouldn't deflate we didn't know what to do at that moment Bly I was desperate because I wanted to see the fight happen and that's when he slowly started to break the balloon and my titan cameraman started to throw his powers to see if he could reach the titan skiv toilet who was trapped in a balloon the titan skiv toilet that was up in the balloon above then a little later Bly managed to throw titan skiv toilet out of the balloon he started to fight with Titan so as you can see the fight was totally epic it was the final battle Titan T-Bam was too damaged Titan cameraman was also super damaged and there was only one Gimmon left with all the life to fight against them the truth I was pretty scared because I thought I was going to lose the battle but the unthinkable happened literally Titan TB man started to hit and throw some combos to Titan skiv toilet and he literally managed to kill him titan skip toilet and literally managed to defeat him with a tremendous blow and that's how we won the epic battle against skid blue eye and dot exe in minecraft what complete madness literally what we just witnessed at this precise moment the next day i woke up in my house and i had to know what had happened to blue eye after he defeated all the skip toilets the night before that's why i quickly left my house and went to where the altar of blue eye was i wanted to see if it was there and if it was there what i would do was to imprison him i was going to imprison her in a complete obsidian prison so that she couldn't escape until she fell to the way to be able to revert her and heal her to make her normal blue eye so she wouldn't be blue eye pon exe anymore so i ran this way until i got to blue eyes altar as you can see there you can already see the little blue eyes altar on the horizon and i was getting closer and closer and i was about to get there when i saw that there weren't as many skis as before but there were a few but there weren't as many as last time well maybe they already gave up after we defeated the titan yesterday but they really started to appear many with revenge said literally they all came to beat me without mercy they had the thirst for revenge for having defeated the titans the night before when i was approaching i realized that there was again skiv blue eye there was skiv blue point exe in fact and i started to quickly build the obsidian prison while she was asleep and the many skibidi appeared wanting to protect her their mission was to protect the queen blue eye so i had to fight with a lot of them. They kept coming and coming and defending Blue Eye so she couldn't be imprisoned in an obsidian prison in order to reverse it. So I started to place it here as fast as I could. However, more and more Skibidi kept appearing and there were literally a lot of them and here they were disappearing because the only true Skibidi Titan that was still alive was Skibidi Blue. Since all the Skibidi that was still alive was Skibidi Blue was skibidi blue since all the others had disappeared as you can see i could not fit it because the toilet where ski bly was sitting was too big and i literally to make it impossible to imprison it in an obsidian pressure i placed the obsidians here as fast as i could i started to attack all the skiv of toilets because there were literally too many as you can see and i started to place all over these sides the obsidian to go to all these sides and i started to place the obsidian to go to all these sides of the toilets and to go to all these sides of the toilets and to go to all these sides of the toilets and to go to all these sides of the toilets i started to place the obsidian on all these sides to imprison the blue eye skivs over here we attacked the toil skivs and quickly we attacked them all and they kept coming more and more and more there were literally an infinite number of vile skivs that could appear in this world and they wouldn't let me imprison blue eye in any way so i quickly did it as fast as i could to imprison blue eye because it literally cost me too much there i completely covered her up and they wouldn't stop coming and they wouldn't stop coming i completely covered it up and they wouldn't stop attacking me and one of them got in there was skiv blue and it was crazy and they literally wouldn't let me and they literally became obsessed with the fact that i couldn't imprison skiv blood but in the end i managed to do it we imprisoned skiv blue 
Jack's in the Obsidian prison and after that Jack had her in prison I fought against more Escovies and I went home to find a way to cure Skid Bly to make her normal Bly and not blue eye. EXE so here I kept fighting with more and more Skiv without stopping and even police Skiv and all kinds of Skiv came and they wouldn't leave me alone I had to go back to my house to find the way to cure blue eye so once it I'm down most of them disappeared and I could go back to my house as you can see there everything was locked up and after fighting with those last skip that didn't stop coming I managed to go to my house to find the cure for skibidi blue eye. I actually literally here did not stop appearing and I went towards the house and while walking towards the house I came back here at night literally but I found the solution I started to investigate and when you have a zombie villager supposedly you have to give them healing potions and a golden apple so I got as many healing potions that I managed to do because as you can see it was even at night and I also grabbed all the enchanted apples that I managed to get to go to turn skip blue eye. I actually into normal blue eye again so I headed right to where blue's altar was and with all these things I had the hope of being able to turn her back to normal blue eye is literally the only thing I wanted to do at this moment so I went down here quietly. On the mountain more and more skiff kept appearing that wanted to interrupt my healing process to blue eye but I was not going to stop anything I was determined to heal blue eye at this moment so I continued walking here literally getting to where ski blue eye. I actually and I started giving her literally all the golden apples and potions I could I had to give her everything I could to be able to heal her so here was Skid Blue. Axie as you can see I started throwing healing positions golden apples and everything so she could heal and we could get Blue Eye back to normal like we wanted literally from the beginning to get Blue Eye back to normal here I threw some more potions and waited for the day to pass to see what would happen with Skid Blue Eye. Axie here in Minecraft so here in Minecraft so in Minecraft I continued to walk walk around here and I started throwing healing positions golden apples and everything so she could heal and we could get blue eye back to normal like we wanted literally from the beginning to get blue eye back to normal here I threw some more potions and waited for the day to pass to see what would happen with skip blue eye axe here in minecraft so come on the next day I woke up and ran to the altar where Bly was to see if she had changed had improved something or just stayed the same with the poses and golden apples that we gave her and that we through to turn her We're into the usual blues so here I started to fight with many skiv toilets to get there I literally took me a long time because I had to fight a lot of skivs but I kept running to where blues altar was literally and when we got closer there was BL literally as always in her final state we had already regenerated blue and the skivs for some reason were not attacking her they were only attacking me and I had recovered my dear friend bluey here at last in minecraft what happened is we really into the house and I ran into the this double chicken a crazy thing and we ran to the house because we had to get back as soon as possible before a skid toad attacked blue back because I didn't want to go through this adventure ever again so we ran to the island well to the mountain where the house was located we went up and climbed the whole mountain until we got to the top of the house and once we were up there with Bly we ran because I wanted him to get to his room to rest after a tremendous adventure but well there she goes running to her room to finally rest I guess she was pretty tired of having been in so many dimensions and going through so many states of what point at skiv and all those states so she had to rest a lot blue eye on this occasion she went to sleep in her room as you can see i was very tired and she had to rest a lot we made sure we had a few euros with bl here we celebrated a little bit of happiness that we finally had dear bl back in our minecraft house as you can see here i went to my bed i rested for a while and then we went with blue eye to an exploration we basically went to mine and get materials for BL to get her armor so she could be protected from the kid toilets there was blue eye there I told her to come with me to go get what she needed to get her armor so she could be protected from the kid toilets there was blue eye there I told her to come with me to go get what she needed to get her armor so she could be protected from the kid toilets and so on I told him to come with me to go pick up what would become his pickaxe and his diamond helmet that I had ready for him to go mining together so we could get lots of equipment lots of minerals and everything and more skiv showed up but i managed to kill them all before they could hurt blue eye again then blue eye quickly ran to grab his pickaxe and his helmet so he could go mining so he could get everything and chat bly so that what just happened to her would literally never happen to her again and for the reason that we had to travel between dimensions to be able to save her 
So we gave her the helmet, we gave her the pickaxe, and it was time to go look for minerals. So we could cheddar incredible, we continued this way, and well after a little while we walked quite a bit as you can see we continued walking here as it was about to get dark, and there were quite a few esquivies, but well I was able to defend Blue Eye from all the dodges that wanted to hit him. Literally there were so many, but we had to get to the mine, we went to the mine to collect some materials we searched. Everywhere the truth is the mine we found was not that good it was a M shaft, but there were not as many minerals as we expected in fact we did not even find a single diamond we found a little bit of copper around here literally almost nothing and we also found a little bit of iron but we lacked a lot of diamond but as it was getting dark and it was late in the mine we decided to leave towards the surface because it was literally very dangerous for us to be here in AM shaft because there were many cave spiders that had poison and could kill blue and I didn't want to go through that again. I kept exploring the M shaft in case we found some kind of diamond or valuable ore, but there was absolutely nothing and as you can see it was always running into lava Lewis was burning all the time and it was a big problem. But while we managed to cover the lava we managed to advance along the side and there was literally nothing it was the worst mine we could have found in the whole world of Minecraft and we decided to go back to the M shaft the world of Minecraft and we decided to get out of this mine because there was absolutely nothing even behind this mound of earth. Once we got out it got complicated because there were too many skyvies on the surface were too many and we did not know what to do with Bly did not stop attacking her literally killed a lot but Bly's took off his helmet by accident or broke it the skip and as you can see did not stop attacking Blue and the skip and the skip was very 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 low on life I literally did not know what to do because I did not want to hit her by accident so I said what I could by killing all the skills I could kill without them attacking blue however guys unfortunately the inevitable happened and the following happened to blue which you will see below which was quite sad literally a skibidi killed blue and history repeated itself 